Welcome back to the Ash and Stone channel, my name is Chris. I often get asked how I get the static grass on my miniature bases looking so luscious, thick and full. Well, it's no great secret, I use a homemade static grass applicator. With a twist. If you have ever used one before, you'll know that they make a heck of a mess. So simply sprinkling the grass on top of a miniature is mostly a terrible idea. But I do have a solution. I use this contraption. There's nothing hugely complex about it. The base is just a plastic container that I have attached an aluminium plate to with machine screws and nuts and a wire with an alligator clip. Why aluminium? Well, I already had some that was the right size. On top of that, I put another container which is filled with static grass, a mix of two and four millimeter spring blends from Warworld Scenics. The bottom has another aluminium plate with machine screws and nuts on the inside protruding at the bottom so it makes contact with the base plate. If we take the lid off, you can see that we have yet another aluminium plate, riveted onto a steel shaft and running through a flange linear bearing, so you can move the platform up and down. The wire exists, but it's not necessary. Now this is the first iteration, a prototype if you will, and there are a lot of improvements I could make for convenience, but it's been working flawlessly for the last six years or so, so I simply haven't bothered. To set it up, we attach the base red clip to the positive side of the static grass applicator. We stick our miniatures to the platform on the lid. I'm using poster putty, and I'm sure you can already spot one future improvement. Once the miniatures are stuck, I slap on a bunch of glue. I'm using Geek Gaming's fast drying basing glue. It works. You can use PVA, this stuff just gives you a little more time to work because it remains tacky. I like to put a lot of glue down so that you don't end up with lots of beer patches. Nature abhors a vacuum and all of that. Once they're all glued, you chuck the container onto the base. The lid goes on, being careful not to damage your miniatures as you put them in. And it's sealed up so that we don't make a mess. The negative wire from the static grass applicator is attached to the top. I put a magnet on there to make it super convenient. Once your wires are attached, switch the static grass applicator on and lower the platform. The lower you can get it, the stronger the static field and the faster everything works. I'll give it a shake up to make everything more level so we can see a bit better, but you can already see the static grass jumping around all over the place. I leave them there for 10 to 30 seconds, occasionally lifting the platform and lowering it again to clear any clogs. There's no harm in leaving a miniature in there for 5 or 10 minutes even. The longer you leave it, the thicker the grass will end up. When we think we are done, we switch off the static grass applicator, ground out the wires, and take the top off. Knock any loose static grass back into the container, and as you can see, the grass is looking lovely, thick and upright. As I take the miniatures off, I give them another knock in case any grass is trapped under their bases, and we are good to go. Now's the time to mess up the grass a little if you don't want it so uniform. Just knock it around a bit with the end of a brush, but otherwise they can be put aside to dry and we can go on with the next lot. Easy as. That blend of grass just stays in there, it gets topped up every now and then, but because I use it for most things, it's nice to have it handy. For something like skeletons, who I don't want to have bright green bases, I keep another container around. This one has a riveted copper base, which does work better than the aluminium, so would recommend. In it I keep 2 and 4mm winter blend grass from Warworld Scenics. I just swap the top over when I'd rather use that. Same deal for grassing the skeletons. Though I want the bases looking pretty barren, so I put down a few spots of glue in random places. After a zap, you can see we have sparse little tufts directly on the base. You can do miniatures with spears and banner poles without a problem, just be careful when you're lowering them down. Once the static grass has dried, I bang on some Woodland Scenics fine turf to add another colour and texture to the base, and then stick on some homemade tufts. Yes, with a static grass applicator you can make your own tufts. There are already quite a few videos around on YouTube about this already, but as a lightning fast bonus tutorial, fill your static grass applicator with static grass, 
In my case, I'm doing four batches of 6mm grass from War World Scenics, spring, summer, autumn and winter. Place non-stick baking paper into a box and using tacky glue, like Geek Gaming's fast drying basing glue, dot a bunch of randomly sized blobs of glue down on the baking paper. Put your box on a steel sheet, attach the static grass applicator's negative wire to the steel, switch her on and tap the grass out all over the glue. Work back and forth until it is nice and thick or you run out of grass. When you're happy, flip over the baking paper, tap off the excess and leave it to dry. If you feel you need to, you can go over it a second or third time to fill in any thin spots. When you're done, tap the grass from the box back into the bag. Easy. When they're all dry, you can peel them off and stick them on as you would any commercial tuft. My static grass applicator was made following the instructions on Luke Towen's channel. Link in the description below if you want to check that out. Highly recommend you get one or build one if you're working with static grass at all. They are an absolute game changer. Thanks very much to my supporters on Patreon. Your support is very, very much appreciated. And thank you everyone else for watching. I do hope that this has given you some ideas. Anyway, we shall see you next time. Cheers.